Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. The Gift of Gab. (laughs) I'm going to tell you what. For those who are really trying, whether you a guy just trying to find the right mate, or you a guy trying to be on that player thing, you got to have the Gift of Gab. See, it's funny when I hear people say, oh, it's just money. Or it's just looks, right? And if you get that or that's what you need, it's like, hold up, hold up, man. You don't understand. I don't care what you doing. I don't care what you got going on, how you look. You still got to talk to that person. Or you still got to communicate with that person if you're mute. You still got to make that type of connection because that other stuff is nothing but a lure. But you gotta have, you gotta be able to talk to them. And the greatest gift is you talk to them, cause see, once you talk to them, and then you can find out what they're about, and then you can find out what your common interests are, right? Now I'm gonna tell you straight up, I got the gift of gab. That's always been my secret. Like the, the women I dealt with in life, had sex with, all of them didn't think I was looking like all that. Some of them did, some of them didn't. They were like, "You're alright," but they said, "You know what, Rom? I can talk to you." And you know what? And it's uh, interesting, right? It's something that I've, I've actually used professionally, right? Like a good way to develop the gift of gab is get into some commission sales. Or um, as Master Teacher BGS would say, um, you know, work in customer service or do some um, telemarketing or something, right? Because it's you get two things out of it, right? Just in general, especially when you're talking about that thing of ours called game, right? You got the gift of gab, and you, well, you're doing sales, right? First of all, you got to talk to different type of people. You're not going to just get somebody, like, if you're doing sales, you're not going to get somebody who's automatically going to click with you or automatically think you look good so they feel like, oh, I'm going to buy this thing from you, right? Oh, no, you probably get somebody who, shoot, they might not even like you just just because of your race or something. Or they might not want, you know, but they need that product or they're looking for something. Then you talk with them, all of a sudden they're like, oh, wait, this person cool. All right? So you got to you gotta be able to click with them. And anybody who's worked in sales knows, you know, the more you can relate to them on a personal basis, the more likely you are to get that sale. Right? And it's the same principle when you're selling yourself for a relationship or whatever you're trying to get from that woman. Like, you might, it's like a shiny car. Somebody might go in there and look at it, but unless that car's a Rolls Royce, you still might have to sell it. Because usually if somebody's looking for a Rolls Royce, that's different. But most people ain't a Rolls Royce where you can just present yourself and they like, oh, I want this thing. You want to sell yourself a little bit. They're like, okay, he look good. Okay. Let me see what's going on. What's he saying? In fact, many women will say they, you know, they like the guy. They like how he look. Smelled good. Then he opened his mouth. And he's like, oh, shit. Nah, he dumb as fuck. All right? So, you know, sales. And also, you know, learn that through sales. Also, you learn how to be rejected. Right? And then you learn how to spar. You learn how to overcome rejections and everything. Right? But it's all you you using that to develop that whole gift of gab. See, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. The biggest problem. Biggest single problem with these with some cats out here. It ain't that they don't look good. A lot of dudes be thinking, well, I'm ugly, I ain't gonna want it. No, you got a fucked up personality. You don't know how to talk to a woman. Right? That's it. You're not social. That's the thing. Cause I don't care, like I say, I don't care what you look like. I don't care how much money you got. Like, let me use that money thing, because you get some guys out here and they say they they'll just trick and they'll get this money. So what you gonna do? Walk up to the woman and say you got money? Seriously, how many how many people gonna walk up to say and say, well, honey, I got, uh, I make a hundred thousand a year, and I can do this for you. You know what? Even if she a gold digger, she might she might curse you out. She might call the police. Because um, I've talked about acculturated prostitution. The interesting thing about it, yes, those type of women who are acculturated prostitutes, you know, they in it for the money, but. They actually get offended if you offer money straight up. They get offended. Like women are weird. The, the women who get into that are weird that way. Like they know they just want to do for money. But if you come up to them and just offer, you offer them money straight up, 
Uh, no, nah, they, they generally don't like it. They, they generally don't like it. They get offended if you offer them money straight up. But then if you, you know, you get to know them and something and, you know, you pay, you know, you say, they say they got problems with their bills or something, you pay it. They seem to don't seem a problem. But that's something within the women. I wouldn't worry too much about that, right? But even to do that, you still got to talk to them. If you got money, that's the bottom line. You, I, how does women know you got money? You talking about, well, you just need money. How's she going to know if, if, if that's how you want to run with it? How's she going to know if you don't got if you don't have a conversation with her. I want you to think about that. Like she can't tell what you, you know, even if you push, unless you push in a real expensive car, like real expensive, and you got some fly clothes that she recognizes, that she recognizes as fly. And even then, some women, they hip to the game. They know some be, dudes be faking. You still got to talk to them. Or even if you so-called look good, the look good thing, you that gets her over there. That might open her up if you approach her. But you still got to talk to her. You got to seal the deal. You got to click with her. You know? Like in uh, one of my previous videos, I used the example of religion. Y'all talking and, you know, she says she a Christian. And you say, well, you know, I worship Satan. <laughs> Trust me, all, all those looks go out the door. All those looks go out the door. So you still got to talk to them. And you, if you, even if to have sex with them, even if they down to have sex with you, you still got to negotiate where y'all going to have sex. And really, you should want to talk to them anyway to see what's on their minds. Because a lot of dudes, they just see the fat butt. And, you know, I said this before. You see the fat butt or whatever you like in a woman, and you ain't thinking about it, and then all of a sudden you robbed and killed. There's been many a dude, especially a dude with some money, Killed, robbed, and killed. They meet some woman on one of these things. They'd be like, "Hey, she real fine," and they look for it too. Man, those women be on social media looking for it. This is for the guys who trying to holler at some women on social media, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, well you can pay this or that," and your ass get played because you ain't you ain't you worried about her body and not talking to her. But the main thing is the gift of gab. You got to be able to talk. You got to be able to roll with it. You got to be a good conversationalist. Like, I've known some cats, right? I've known some cats who they conversate. They, could, they don't even have to talk sex. The conversation was so good with a woman, they open her up. That's how powerful it is. That's how powerful because what happens is if you're talking with a woman, I mean, here's the game. Here's the, here's the game. I'm giving y'all some free game now, right? If you once you if you talking with her and you get her to talk about whatever, but she feel good during that conversation, she's laughing a bit, right? She gets relaxed during that conversation. Man, she'll probably she may if you talking to her maybe a couple hours, she she might want to continue that conversation at a motel or your place or her place. And I'm gonna tell you what, that gift of gab. You talk to a woman, you could be an average-looking Joe. Like, I've had that theme in the last few videos. You can be an average-looking Joe. She, but she starts smiling all of a sudden. You know, she started looking at you, you start looking better to her. All of a sudden, that thing, you know, that nose to the slight, that nose that's going slightly to the right, don't look as bad to her. In fact, it might even start looking cute to her. Because, I'm going to tell you what. A woman's, a woman's best vagina really ain't her, like the physical one, but uh, the one on the side of her head. You can make, a hey, shoot, some sweet nothings. That's what those charmers be doing. That's that whole mouthpiece thing. You can turn a woman on. You can turn a woman on. And like, uh, like I said, sometimes depending on a woman, you just ask her for it straight up. You can just get you can just try to get the sex straight up, but if you're not doing that, just a regular conversation can get her ready. She wet, she dripping, she dripping wet just off the combo. And like that's that's why I always tell guys, I was like, look, go out there and say hi to three women a, uh, a week. In fact, I'm gonna shout out Glendon Cameron because I was checking out one of his videos and he said, if every day you talk to a woman, you'll improve. Every single day, you you talk to a woman. Now, just say how I talk to a woman, 
at some point, boom, 365 days, boom, you're going to get something. All right? But learn that, learn that talk. Learn to talk. That's why, I'm, and I'm telling you now how deep it is. I've actually thought about just having some parties or some stuff where I just had some women come in and the men just talk to them. I've mentioned this before somewhere, one of my sites, maybe on here, right? Seriously, that's how deep it is. But work on that gift of gab, y'all. Work on that gift of gab, right? Anybody can develop it. If you can speak, you can develop it. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to you later. Peace.